Hey YouTube, I'm back with another mechanical pencil review, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Retro 51 Hexamatic. And the Hexamatic is a pencil that I've been wanting to review now for a couple weeks, but I've purposely stalled, like I have lately with a lot of reviews of pencils that I knew that I really, really liked, because I wanted to make sure that I give them, them their just due in trying them out and writing with them under professional conditions in which I would normally use them. Now, I am not an artist, but I do do a lot of writing. Uh, since I am a teacher and I use mechanical pencils at school and for writing for taking meeting notes and so I wanted to make sure that I was giving the Retro 51 Hexamatic its due and so uh, I wanted to make sure that I was targeting any issues that there might be with the pencil or anything so that we could really have a full-fledged review here and so as you can see uh, for Christmas this year, I got this lovely die-cast uh, Rey and BB-8 figure from the new Star Wars movies. I love The Force Awakens, and no spoilers here, so I'm not going to say anything else in case you haven't seen it. But let's uh, focus back on the mechanical pencil review. You can see that my Retro 51 Hexamatic I have disassembled for you, so you could see it in its fully disassembled state. And I'm going to reassemble it. We'll do a click test. We will... Uh, do a writing test, and I'll do the rundown on my rating scale so you can see where the Hexamatic is going to fall because it is going to be placing high on my rating scale. It is a wonderful pencil, and so let's dive right into it. I'm going to start just by reassembling it. You can see that it comes in four pieces once it's all disassembled, and I'm going to start by taking these two pieces right here and screwing this tip into this brass fitted piece right here. I should probably mention before I do anything, you'll notice that the uh, clutch is a metal clutch. Difficult to see on the video. There we go. Okay, so it's a metal clutch, so it already has something real positive going for it. I'm gonna take this tip assembly right here and screw it on to the brass threading. Most of the components of the interior of this mechanical pencil are metal except for this shaft right here is uh, plastic, but majority of the components are metal. And then I'm going to take the knurled grip and slide it on here. And then that screws in with some very nice metal threading. We always like to see that on our mechanical pencils because that means they're going to last. Okay, so now the tip is screwed on, and then I'm going to take the actual barrel of the pencil, and once again, this time it's brass, it's just painted brass, and it's all assembled, and there we have it, the, re the Hexamatic by Retro 51. It is a retractable and sliding sleeve mechanical pencil, so, uh, and I've tested this out, as you write, the sleeve will retract, allowing you to continue writing as you go. And it is really solid and durable. Uh, one of the most durable mechanical pencils that I've worked with. And one of the problems with really durable mechanical pencils, which this is my big gripe with the Rote Ring Rapid Pro, it's the big problem that I have with the Tw Twisby Precision, is that really high quality metal pencils tend to be really heavy. Like, once you get into the 1.5 to 2 ounce range, it becomes too heavy for me. And so, for example, the Rote Ring Rapid Pro clocks in at my number 3. It would probably be my number, number 1 if it wasn't one of the heaviest mechanical pencils that I have. Twisby Precision, number 4. Once again, one of the heaviest mechanical pencils that I have. Uh, for someone who writes for a very long period of time, uh, like I do, it's really important to me that the weighting of a mechanical pencil is good. And I'm happy to report that the weighting on the Retro 51 Hexamatic is excellent. The knurling on the grip feels awesome in the hand. It's not too sharp. It's not too smooth. So you can feel like you can get that solid grip without it being a uh, grating on your fingers. And uh, so let's go ahead and uh, do the click test while we have it here, okay? And so it takes one click to extend the lead sleeve, and then the next one will get your lead going. So I'm going to count that as number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is our standard click test. Okay, so what do we have? That's looking about six millimeters or so, six to seven millimeters. So pretty much what you would expect from a really high quality drafting pencil. 
Okay, I've loaded mine with uh, Einst, uh, Pentel Einstein uh, 2B. Uh, the hexamatic only comes in 0.7 millimeter, and so for some people, if you're a 0.35 or a 0.5 millimeter fan, you're not going to find it in the hexamatic. Uh, the hexamatic is pretty much there for drawing and writing. Uh, it's it's not going to work out for fine detail work if you need a smaller lead size. The reason why I have 2B lead in the hexamatic is twofold. The first reason is that I like 2B lead. Okay, I, I happen to really like a darker lead. The other reason why I have 2B lead in this is that I have noticed that the hexamatic's clutch does not do as well with harder leads. So the HB leads. And I'm not sure what grade lead comes in the hexamatic. Whenever I get a new mechanical pencil, I immediately replace the lead with a higher quality lead. It's just what I do. Um, and most of the time, that's Einstein uh, by Pentel. And uh, I found that when I put HP lead in the hexamatic, I was uh, having this problem where the lead was retracting back up with moderate pressure on the mechanism. And so I don't know if that's an issue with the clutch. I contacted the Retro 51 people. They were super great about it. Uh, I sent them a email that detailed my concerns and was not whiny or angry. And I was like, look, I love your pencil and I want to be able to give it a great review, but I'm experiencing this problem. Now, normally when you get lead that is retracting back up into a lead sleeve, the problem is with the mechanism itself. Uh, the Retro 51 people recommended that I just, you know, clear the the lead sleeve, or I'm sorry, clear the clutch with uh, the lead sleeve um, clearer needle thing, you know, that comes on mechanical pencils, especially drafting mechanical pencils. So here's the eraser. Okay, it's a small eraser, but it does have a lead jam clear. Okay. Now, normally, just clearing the clutch with that lead jam clear wouldn't solve problems with lead being retracted back up into it, but it solved it for me. And so uh, I just want to let you know um, that I experienced that issue. Uh, there are a couple people on various reviews, uh, eBay and other places, uh, I'm sorry, not eBay, uh, Amazon and other places who have uh, expressed a concern about that feature of the Hexamatic, but by using that little... Um, clutch cleaner, I was able to solve the problem on mine. And so uh, I just love it. It's a great pencil. The weight is wonderful. It's about the same weight, I think, if not the exact same weight as the uh, classic Rote Ring drafting pencils, the 600 and the 800, which I consider to be an ideal weight for uh, having a real hefty instrument, but at the same time being able to write with it. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and do a writing test. So uh, I guess quick before I do the, the writing test, I should point out that the hexamatic comes in a really attractive box, okay, that has all sort of like schematic-like drawings on it, and it pops open. And on the inside, there's a schematic of their writing utensils, okay, and uh, this is where the pencil is docked right here. And so it comes in a really... Uh, attractive box. If you're looking to give this pencil as a gift to someone, it would be a, it would be a really nice gift because most of the boxes for mechanical pencils are pretty minimalist if there is a box at all. And the Hexamatic has this lovely gift box. It clocks in, I think, at anywhere from 28 to 35 online, depending upon where you buy it from. I wanted this one to be uh, to for me to guarantee that I was getting a genuine one, and so I, I got it through Jet Pens. And I think Jet Pens, uh, the cost for the Hexamatic is uh, 33, I want to say. And I was happy to pay it because it's a great pencil. So let's get to that writing test. I'm going to move Ray and BB 8 out of the way. Sorry, sorry, BB 8. Um, and here we go with the writing test. Once again, this is with the Pentel Einstein 0.7 millimeter in 2B. And so here we go. This is the Retro 51 Hex O Matic. Sort of harkening back to the days of the Rapid O Matic, the Koenar uh, Rapid O Matic, which is a classic drafting pencil, I'm sure. That's where they got the concept for this name. Uh, this one and all of these Hexomatic pencils are in 0.7 millimeter, okay, 
And it's a retractable sleeve. It's also a sliding sleeve. And it's just a really solid writing experience. Weighting is great. Grip is great. For erasing, you can see that it has a tiny little drafting eraser, so you're probably going to want to uh, go ahead and, and have a dedicated eraser for the hexamatic. But one of the things that really bothers me about erasers in general is when you get an eraser that wobbles a lot while you're erasing, and the mechanism for the hexamatic is solid, just like you would expect like on rote ring drafting pencils. And so if the aim of the Retro 51 folks was to compete with the uh, rote ring models that are out there, they were successful. Um, this pencil is better than the Rapid Pro simply based upon the weight. And it also happens to win out on the price as well, and so that's another consideration. The body is hexagonal, so it's not going to roll off of a desk. Really strong, really attractive pocket clip. Um, wonderful black and uh, what looks like brushed steel. I think it's steel. I don't think it's aluminum. I'm pretty sure it's steel. And it comes in silver as well. It used to come in a white model, but it doesn't anymore. And so um, that might be a collector's item for, for you to be able to find. I think they had some problems with the paint on the white model, with the paint sticking to the to the brass. You know, I'm not an engineer, so I'm not really sure. I'm not a metallurgist, so I'm not sure, you know, what you have to do in terms of scoring a metal surface in order to get paint to stick to it. But um, I've been using this pencil for... Uh, over a month now, and it looks exactly the same way it did when I bought it. So super durable, uh, wonderful piece. And so let's go ahead and start running down the rating scale for the Retro 51 Hexamatic. Here we go. So I have four categories for my rating scale, and they are writing experience, quality, features, and cost. Okay, so writing experience, great. Okay, there are those times where you get issues with the lead moving back up into the body of the pencil. Okay, like the, and it's, it's not related to the sliding sleeve. It's like the clutch can't grip it. And so under those circumstances, you're going to have to clean out the pipe. And that's the reason why I'm not giving the writing experience a superb on this one from, from that troubleshooting issue as well. And, and I don't know if I'm, I'm not trying to be unfair here. Okay. I mean, the writing experience for the hexamatic is wonderful. It's wonderfully weighted. The grip is wonderful. It's pocket safe. I mean, there's not really a lot of problems with it at all, but um, the fact that you may have to clean out the clutch every so often to prevent that issue, I'm going to go ahead and give it a great. For quality, great. Once again, I'm not going to give it a superb, even though it's mostly medical metal construction, but I'm not going to give it a superb because my only question about it is how is that clutch going to hold up over time? It's a brass clutch. It's a metal clutch. All the indications would suggest that it's going to last for a really long time. But I did have those issues. So I'm going to go with great for quality for features. Great. Okay, other than the drafting eraser, everything about this is what you would want in a mechanical pencil. Retractable sleeve, sliding sleeve, sturdy pocket clip. It's all there. Okay, and then cost, well, I guess it sort of depends upon where you go. I'm going to go ahead and rate it expensive because the cost can be anywhere from 28 to 35 USD, depending upon where you're buying it from, but it's worth the money. Now, the big question, is it worth the money given some other wonderful pencils that are out there? Let's just quickly run down the list, okay, starting uh, with... You know, let's just go with my top five. Okay, and where might this go on my top five? So, right now, hua! there we go. Right now, number one, Rote Ring 600. Let's see if I can grab it real quick. I have my full case here, so I should be able to do that. Okay, Rote Ring 600, kind of the pinnacle of everything that exists out there for mechanical drafting pencils. Super high quality, wonderful writing experience. Not that many features. Something to consider. Okay, so we have the Rote Ring 600. Number two, currently, Rote Ring 800. It, it's basically the Rote Ring 600 only with a retractable mechanism. 
So in that regard, the Rotring 800 really isn't that different from the Hexamatic. Weights are similar. Okay, both retractable. You can see that the neural grip extends a little bit more on the Hexamatic as compared to the 800. So hold on a second. If it's got this great feature, why is Rotring 800 number two? Well, my issue with the Rotring 800 is that the mechanism moves and is a little spongy when you click the LED advance mechanism. Okay, it seems kind of a surprising engineering limitation given the costs of this pencil in the in the fifty plus dollar range, and the fact that you're used to having a really solid clicky mechanism for a rote ring pencil. I mean, in terms of its performance, it performs exactly like a rote ring six hundred does. But I didn't feel, given that sponginess in the mechanism, that I could put the rote ring eight hundred as, as as solid as the rote ring six hundred. Okay, moving right down the list, number three. Rotring Ring Rapid Pro. Okay, here it is. Beautiful. It's got the classic red ring. <laughs> Rotring Ring models are all in my top three so far. Okay, it has a retractable and sliding sleeve. It's just heavy. Okay, it's not something that I see myself writing with for an extended period of time. I can see myself writing with the Hexamatic for an extended period of time. So Rotring Ring Rapid Pro clocks in at number three. Number four, the Twisby Precision. Get it out here. There it is. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. Okay, comes with a lot of kit, a lot of accoutrement with it. It comes with a very large eraser. Comes with extra lead. Once again, a retractable sleeve, pretty solid mechanism. I'm not a big fan of the grip because it's a pretty smooth grip for what it is. It's also heavy, okay? I mean, folks, don't get me wrong. These are all great pencils. I would recommend them to anyone, and there's a reason why they're in my top five. I'm just trying to make a case for where I'm going to be putting the Hexomatic. And then number five is the Pentel Sharp Carry. Feature-rich. Okay, has a cap, can extend the lead, solid Pentel mechanism, great pencil. So that rounds up my top five. So where does the Hexamatic fall? Well, it's one of the best writing experiences I've had when the clutch is working properly. And I did get the clutch to work properly. And the Retro 51 people were very gracious and I appreciated their help. Just had to do a little bit of cleaning of the clutch. I don't have to do that very often with the Rote Ring pencils, if at all. Um, weight is great, and on the weight issue alone, I feel like I have to put it above the Rote Ring Rapid Pro, so I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to do a tie on my rating scale. The Retro 51 Hexamatic is going to go right where the Rote Ring 800 is. They're both wonderful pieces. I'm a little hesitant to put it above the Rote Ring 600. Because mechanically, in terms of reliability, durability, writing experience, there is nothing wrong with this. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. So, Hexamatic is going to get a little bump down. It's going to come in at number two. But I in no way regret getting it. Uh, I would recommend it to people. If you're looking for something that has a retractable sleeve and you don't want to spend Rotring Ring 800 style of money, get the Retro Hexamatic instead. I think that you can feel confident getting that. If you have any problems with the clutch, just use the little needle and clean out the clutch and you should be okay. Uh, but those are some things to, to look out for for it. And so Retro uh, 51 Hexamatic really surprised me when I got it. And I knew it was going to be rated high up on my rating scale. And I feel really confident about putting it at number two. And, you know, the top 10 probably isn't going to go very far moving forward. I have one potential candidate, the Zebra M701, that might make it into the bottom part of the top 10. But I still got to make a call on that one. And so that's something that uh, I'm going to be reviewing in the near future. I have a lot of other pencils, some of them cheap, some of them vintage. All of them really interesting coming up uh, here on the channel, and I'm going to continue to review mechanical pencils on my blog, klexer.wordpress.com. And so thanks for stopping by, and thanks for watching.